Greetings, everyone. I'm Kathleen Bell, and I'm from Orlando, Florida. As you can see, I'm an artist. I'm an upcoming new artist on the line. I'm many artists that were ahead of me. I'm just trying to get in line with them. I'm introducing myself. This is a, a painting. Uh, it's just in the beginning stage, but wait till you see when it's finished. I started drawing. I didn't go to art school. I haven't been to uh, art university or took up art or art history. I just started drawing because me and my husband, we owned a, a horse ranch. And when the hurricanes come, you cannot work. You batten down the hatches, you stay inside, and you wait till the storm is over. And so while I'm waiting while the storm is over, I'm sketching on my little art pad and my little art sketchbooks. And I just started doodling. And so the drawings start out little. They just start out as a figment of my imagination. And then as we were riding horseback riding, I started drawing on these helmets and, and coloring them with, with, with markers and colored pens and whatever came to my my brain and I just started drawing and coloring and when the kids saw my helmet they wanted theirs done and so it started to be like a, a hobby for me when the when the kids would show out on their new horses and ponies and ride with their colorful helmets the clients would say oh who did that helmet who drew that helmet it is gorgeous I want mine done. And where did you get it from? And the kids say, my, my horseback riding instructor painted it and drew it on there. And so if I can draw masterfully on a round surface, on a round surface, I said, what could I do on a flat surface? And so when I was in Tallahassee in the horse ranch, I, I would, I, all of a sudden started looking for an art studio. Like where where can I go? And so I came upon Brush and Palette. It's an art studio in Tallahassee. And so I signed up for classes, uh, oil painting, watercolor, and acrylic. And all of a sudden the masterpieces started coming. I my first drawing was what what was a toucan, a bird, and then it started to be a sunflower, and then it started to be little horses. I, I would try to mimic what I drew on the helmet and put it on a flat surface. And so the masterpieces started multiplying, and now I have over 50 paintings and over 600 drawings, just, just little sketches. And, and then when the little sketches get on onto the canvas. So it starts from off the ground while I'm sleeping or walking or working. I always carry my sketch pad and always take it with me everywhere I go. So if I have an idea, I just sketch it or write, write the idea down and then wait till I get home and I sketch it out on my pad and then I try to convert it and transfer it to the canvas. So that that is how the idea of painting and drawing comes as a lifestyle for me. It always is 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 always I'm always thinking about it. I'm always thinking about the music. I'm always thinking about what's the next painting gonna be? What what is the next adventure gonna be? But this painting is not completed. So as it develops, you will see the final outcome. So stay tuned to the final outcome. So I'm not going to talk your ears off and bore you any further, but it is very interesting to know that all these paintings start out with a little drawing and a thought, and then it gets back and on the canvas and it gets bigger and it gets more beautiful. So stay tuned. As you can see that this painting is not completed, but stay tuned to part two. And I will make a video about the completed stage. So God bless you.